A secret casino room? Yeah. The cops shut me down. That is so cool. Very cool. I got a room full of slot machines I can't turn on and a room full of washing machines I don't want. Let's get this going again. I can't. I'm on their radar now. That sucks. <sighs> this is not how I saw this playing out. Hey, you took a shot. That's impressive. I guess. I mean, most folks your age have someone cutting up their food. That's enough. Well, I still think you're a badass. <laughs> Thank you. We should probably get back out there. Oh, I ain't working for you, but I'm rooting for you. 67 years old, scraping Tootsie Roll out of a clothes dryer. Hey. What do you want? I want to help you out. Oh, I knew you'd come back. Listen, I got most of it, but there's just one chunk in there that won't let go. I'm not here to work. I'm here with the answers to all your problems. And what is that? How to get your back room up and running again. I'm listening. I was thinking about Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, God. Hear me out. Your payouts were in cash. That's illegal. When you play games at Chuck E. Cheese, you win tickets. Those tickets are traded for prizes. That's legal. You just need to do the same thing. People play your machines. Now, the credits they win get exchanged for stuffed animals. Then you buy those stuffed animals back for cash. No laws broken, and you're back in business. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. Why? Because I don't run a carnival. Grown-up people don't, don't gamble to win a teddy bear. You're not getting it. I'm getting that it's dumb. I'm trying to help you. If you really wanted to help me, you would stick your head in there and start scraping. I guess I'll just sell the place. If I take a bath, so be it. Oh, I don't know. I got a realtor friend might be able to help. You mean like your cop friend who shut me down? Yeah, that wasn't great. Hmm. But what about Georgie's idea? That dumb Chuck E. Cheese thing, Dale. Come on. Well, actually, I think it's kind of brilliant. You think that grown-ups are going to gamble for some stuffed animals? Yeah, that you're buying back from them. Well, a teddy bear's only worth a couple of bucks. It's worth whatever you say it's worth. They win a hundred bucks, and it's worth a hundred bucks. It seems I owe you an apology. Come on in. So what's my title here? Manager? Supervisor? Your title is grandson who can go home now. What are you talking about? We're in this together. I'm sorry, did you buy these machines? No, but it was my idea how to get them up and running again. And thank you. Now go home before I tell your mother you want to work in a secret casino. Oh, yeah? Maybe I should tell her you own a secret casino. Fine. You can be my assistant manager. Oh, I like the sound of that. So it's a deal? Well, hold on. How much are you going to pay me? Did I mention that assistant manager comes with a spiffy name tag? Does it also come with a spiffy paycheck? How much did Dale pay you? Uh, minimum wage plus 5% commission. I'll give you half of that. So 2.5% commission? No, half of the minimum wage part. What about a percentage of these? <laughs> yeah, right. I'm serious. If it wasn't for me, none of this would be happening. I'm your grandmother. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't be happening. How about this? No hourly wage, just a cut. What kind of cut you thinking? 5%. 3%. 5. 3. You're supposed to go in the middle and say 4. Why don't you say 4? Fine, 4. 2. Come on. I'll tell you what. We're in the gambling business. Why don't we gamble for it? Okay. Great. The number I'm thinking of in my head, is it odd or even? How dumb do you think I am? In my defense, you used to be dumber. So you're gonna give us your ticket, and we're gonna give you the teddy bear. Why would I want a teddy bear? Because then we're gonna buy the teddy bear back. But I said I don't want a teddy bear. I want cash. You're gonna get the cash. Then why do you keep talking about a teddy bear? Because this way it ain't gambling. But I want to gamble. Well, gambling's illegal. This is a gray area. Just give him the cash. No, he's gonna get this. I don't think he is. 
Listen to your memo. I don't get it. Just give me your ticket. Wow, that is a nice teddy bear. I'd like to buy that from you. I don't think he got it. We're in the morning. We're in the morning. We've got a lot of what it takes to get along. We're in the morning. Oh, don't take all my money. I'm just a Texas grandma trying to make people happy. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, sweet bear, I'll give you 20 bucks for it. How are we doing? There's a problem with the cash box. Oh, what's that? Can't get it to close. That is my kind of problem. <laughs>